In September 2014, a training on value chain development was held in Medinin, Tunisia. Its objectives were to build the capacities of future EFED project implementing staff, to sensitize stakeholders on the starting of a new project, and to see synergies from the strategic partnership of EFED and German donors in the area of value chain development. The Tunisia Agropastoral Value Chain Project, Protofil, is an EFED funded project implemented by the Ministry of Agriculture and other public and private country partners. The overall project objective is to improve living conditions and create new economic opportunities for vulnerable rural people. First, by strengthening the resilience of goat and camel agropastoral production systems, and second, by developing the related value chains. Project startup is critical to successful implementation because it provides the opportunity to bridge project design and project implementation. Thus, EFED's Near East, North Africa, and Europe Division, together with the Technical Advisory Division, and in partnership with GIZ, invested in a training on value chain concepts and tools for Protovil implementing partners. The training combined theory with practice and was designed building on the value links methodology developed by GIZ. The first part of the training took place in the classroom and provided participants with the core theoretical and analytical concepts of value chain development. As a result, participants better understood the project approach and had a set of tools and methods to analyze and support value chain planning. The second part of the training provided participants opportunities to apply these newly acquired concepts and tools by engaging in participatory fieldwork. Participants had to go out and locate the various actors of the goat and camel meat value chains at their places of work and interview them. Participants then returned to the classroom to evaluate their field notes and share their knowledge and experiences with the group. This included a comparison of expected and actual findings which was an eye-opener for participants. The training concluded with participant presentations of their findings and reflection on the effectiveness of the training. The training reconfirmed the importance of supporting the transition between project design and actual startup and should be seen as a first step which will require follow-up during project implementation. Following the training, a workshop was held in which the findings and approach were presented to a broader group of actors involved in value chain development, various ministries, donors, research institutions, as well as the private sector. Feedback from the training triggered a vivid discussion on how to go about value chain development within the Tunisian country context, and the workshop was seen as a fruitful starting point for a community of practice.